Splashtop has just released a new application that will allow you to pull in a Windows 8 computer or virtual machine and operate it from your iPad. Uh, right now it's on sale, 50% off. But what's neat about this particular app is that instead of just viewing you know, uh, the uh, uh, Windows 8 uh, experience on the iPad, you can actually use multi-touch gestures, much like you can do on a dedicated Windows 8 tablet. So if you want Windows 8 on your iPad, this utility is the go-to utility. Uh, I was playing around with it, and it works quite well. I can scroll back and forth. It's really, really simple. I can open up different applications like the gestures so I can swipe between all my open applications. See how they all swipe? Because I had these applications already open. Uh, swipe. There's Bing. Yay. Okay, so I can do this. Come out a little bit. Swipe. I can close the application. Closed it. Uh, I can swipe open uh, the, uh, what do they call this? The charms menu. I can open up settings. It's like I have Windows 8 running uh, right here on my iPad. I can pull it out a little bit here, actually, I tap away from the menu, pull it out slowly. Still getting used to the nuances of Windows 8. Pull it out. No, let's go that way. It's wanting to stay in the browser. What I want to do is open up. I don't want the browser. Hang on. Come on, Windows 8. This is not the software's fault. This is Windows 8's got some quirky uh, nuances. What I wanted to do is pull out the... Uh, you kind of got to pull it out a certain way, I guess. The diff Oh, maybe I don't have any other tasks open. That might be why. Oh, no, I did. I had my contacts there. Usually, you can pull out just a little bit, unless, of course, you're apparently an Internet Explorer. You can pull out just a little bit to pull open a task menu of sorts. Uh, I don't really have any photos. Well, let me go ahead and open up weather again. See if I can flip back. There we go. I knew I could do it somehow. If you go out a little bit and stop and you push it back, you can either go split screen or uh, pull open a little menu. That's, that's, that's the thing I was trying to tell you. Uh, you can also pinch to zoom or you know zoom out all the way. Like I said, all your uh, uh, multi-touch uh, gestures are available to you right now with this particular application. I think this is a big win. So now you can have a Windows 8. One wi Think about this for just a moment, okay? Uh, you could get an iPad, if you didn't already have one, get the software, install Windows 8 on a full-on PC or on a virtual machine and have Windows 8 in both places. So you wanted to use Windows 8 on the desktop and you know that it's a little quirky there, especially with a classic desktop environment being used in touch experiences and vice versa uh, with the usability since they're blending Metro and Arrow. We've gone into that at length in other videos, so I'm not going to beat that dead horse. Uh, but you can have that experience on the desktop and then take that exact same computer, that exact same version of Windows, the install of Windows, with you on the go. Thanks to uh, that Splashtop application. It works, I would say, exceedingly well. They just released it last night. Take a look. Uh, go ahead and do a search uh, for Splashtop in uh, the iTunes App Store. Of course, you could also uh, just head over to Splashtop.com. Uh, they sent me a link last night saying, hey, did you know we released this? I'm like, there's no way that works. And it works with your iPad. So for those of you who have always wanted Windows on your iPad, specifically Windows that was built with touch and gestures in mind, uh, this is the best thing that I've seen ever. Take a look. Have fun.